part three. This will feature the turbo. I know. Um because the last one two parts happened, but this will. Um so I'll go and show you the turbo in a second, but first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to heat wrap the down pipe and the decap pipe because they need to be fitted first before the manifold goes in. And with a bit of luck, I won't have to take them back off once I've done this. So that's the first job to do for today. It's not the hardest of jobs. But let's go and have a look at the turbo quickly. There's a the turbo. But the first thing we've got to do is heat wrap and heat wrap that. And that looks smart. So that's the piece out the turbo. And that there is the decap pipe after it has the lambda bungs in i only need one of them so i'll block this one up but beautiful so i'll uh, heat wrap that first and then that is job one done right so from previous experience it's quite itchy stuff um so i'm going to use these amazing i think these are genuine marigolds maybe not genuine but anyway so i'm going to use them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip tie it with normal zip ties first into position before I put the metal ties around because sometimes their metal ties can be a bit awkward. So if I just do it with normal zip ties, then I can put the metal ties around and then chop the metal air uh, zip ties off and we're all sorted. <laughs> to be honest um i did stop a bit short here now the reason behind that is because i've got to get the nuts and bolts in there for the exhaust and i figured having an extra bit of heat wrap sticking up there would just make it really awkward so i decided i'll just stop it by that lambda bunk and that'll do that fine so that's it right so cut all the plastic zip ties off so they were obviously there just to keep everything together because if you make a mistake you just chop your plastic cable tie off and away you go instead of having the metal ones there the cat proves um sometimes it could be easier to fit this with it being a little bit wet if you've got certain angles and stuff because it makes it a bit more stretchy to get around the bends but i didn't have that many bends so i just i just did it as it was out the packet um you, you can properly soak it or you can just spray it with like some water in a bottle either way but if you if you do properly soak it just remember that it's got to dry and that can take quite a long time. So it will probably stink on your car. Forever. It'll probably stink when you start your car up anyway. But so that's that done. Job one done. Now let's go and jack the car up and try and get the floor branch off. Right, so nothing. Let's get the first piece of the downpipe fit. You gasket. Don't know if they're any good, whatever. And oh, they're all over here. I'll just uh, loosely fit it for now. Not nip everything up, but get it all located properly. First part of the downpipe on, second bit to go. And part two. That fuel line's definitely gotta go. 
definitely got to go. We'll get the manifold in first and have another look. Brand new. Ideal. So to move these brackets out of the way, that one holds the loom in. And that's the one that's got your uh, EVAP and your brake booster and your throttle cable. In. So I might have to reimagine that somehow for the throttle cable. Looks like it's easy enough to chop a bit of it off though. Bolt it back on. It's mostly just uh, these pipes here that were getting in the way. I can probably just chop through that and then put it back on. See if the manifold fits now. Proper put up a fight. Um, you can't really tell back there, but well, you kind of can. There's a bracket down here, there, for the fuel pipe. I need to take the down pipe back off, typically, and remove all that because I'm not going to be using these fuel lines anyway. They're going to come out around this side. Probably should have done that at first, but whatever. So I've got this mostly sat on and two of the nuts. And then we'll locate this, see if anything lines up. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well happy with that. Right, so yeah, so you can see, that's your fuel feed. So that's the one I'm getting rid of anyway, because that's just going to set fire to everything. If you also look down here, that there's the water. That's the oil feed, so I need to clock this compressor out in the, the car round. Because the feed needs to be at the top, and the drain at the bottom, otherwise you've started and bothered with bearings, so. The table's going to come back off to do that anyway, which is not really a problem. And also, I need to somehow, I if I turn that to about there, I might get a 90 off it to come down that way. Looking alright though. Part two next. Oh, it'll be four, won't it? Part four. Well, that's the end of part four. Um, so this is the price so far. So today, we've had turbo, 350 quid. Manifold, downpipe and decap pipe made by AH Fabrications. Check them out on Instagram, Facebook. Um, they're £1,100. Perfect fit. Um, manifold gasket, £12. Um, the exhaust heat wrap. I wrap the downpipe with that cost me £23. Centre section gasket um, from the decap pipe, the centre section was £4, and then the studs and the nuts to bolt the turbo to the manifold cost me £5, roughly. Um, I've rounded most of these up just to make it easier to add up. Uh, so today, that's £1,494 for today's video, um, which puts the rolling total for this conversion so far, the rather tasty price of 2031 don't think there's too much more expensive stuff to go anyway it's pretty much mostly been the manifold and the turbo that's cost the most money most money but which was to be expected for the manifold and the downpipe and um, the rest of the stuff from now on isn't actually that expensive really i reckon there's probably another i don't know fine we'll, we'll add it up as we go along but hopefully this bit's useful to some people i don't know if it is or isn't um People always say these things are cheap, so that's why I'm doing it. This is how much it cost me to do it. Yep, so the rolling total to date is £2,031. Um, next part is part four, um, which hopefully I'll be getting on with very shortly, which will be the oil feed, the oil return, and the water pipes. And I don't know what else after that. We'll see. See how far I get. Cool.